Because God has seen, just start moving, clapping, Jerry. Yeah. 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 Woo! Since I was a kid, all I've ever wanted was Brexit. Especially the old ones like Lost and Sopranos and stuff like that. But I'll tell you what I've been watching recently that, you know, has taken, has blown them all out of the water. And that's that, um, internet porn. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else been watching the porn recently? <laughs> Let me tell you something. That shit is fucking addictive. <laughs> like, that stuff is Moorish. Let me tell you. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I'm at home, I mean, at work, and I just can't wait. I can't wait to get home to the porn. Do you know what I mean? Just to see what happens. See, see, you know, see if he did fuck her again. And he normally does. <laughs> I can't wait for it, you know. But as much as I do love the porn, there are certain things, even I, even limits, even lines I wouldn't cross. And that's those porn adverts. And I'm sure you've all seen them. They're on every single porn site you come to. They're always in the top right hand corner and they're always fucking crazy. Absolute weird stuff. Like for example, you'll see an advert that say, um, would you like to have cyber sex with your neighbour? No. <laughs> well, I live in Peckham for a start. <laughs> and I get enough dirty looks as it is in Peckham, you know. Without having to add any more awkwardness into the occasion of saying good morning to my neighbour. I mean, I'll never be able to look Fred in the eye again. You know, I have to build the biggest garden fence ever. Who the fuck? In what area and where are these people coming from? Who's having cyber sex with your fucking neighbour? Seriously. <laughs> like, where, where does that. I don't know where you guys live for, come from, but in my area, it doesn't happen. Uh, you know, we just have sex with each other, if anything. <laughs> you know, we're not that lazy, we go and knock on the door. If there's, if it's, that's what gets me, the whole thing about it. If it's your neighbour, why don't you just knock on the door and have real sex? <laughs> that's either some really lazy fuck buddies. Well, they just can't bear being in the same room with each other. <laughs> if, if that's the case, find another fuck buddy. You know, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> but another advert you see, and this is one of my favourites. Well, I say favourite, just I haven't got a favourite. <laughs> but, <it's, it's, laughs> but it's one of the most popular ones, and it's, it always gives me a giggle. Right, now, I'm going to have to explain to you what I was doing at the time I saw this advert. So, obviously, <laughs> I'm watching a porn video, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, because it's disgusting. Right, so I'm watching the video, so obviously I'm in my element, you know, obviously I'm, I'm wanking. And, and it was at that point I saw the advert up in the top right hand corner that said the words, Are you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> then why not share this video with a friend? <laughs> I, I think I keep this one to myself. <laughs> like I normally keep it to myself. You know, call me old fashioned or sick fuck, but you know, I don't share porn videos with friends. Never have, have porn buddies. I've got 
Football buddies, drinking buddies, computer buddies, or whatever. But I've never had a porn buddy. Never one, not once. So don't get me wrong. When you was a kid, when you was at school back in the day before internet and stuff like that, it was on that old. Right? You know, you used to have like um, magazines. You used to share at school, or a video, and we'd, we'd share them. Well, not at the same time. You know, obviously one at a time. You know, but I can understand that. But I think in this day and age, you know. With all the internet and stuff like that, I think my friends are fully capable of finding their own wank material <laughs> without me getting involved. I mean, not once did I, while watching that video, I've seen that advert, I thought, you know what? Yeah, why don't I? Why am I being so tight? Why don't I share this? I'll call you up. Hello, mate, you right, Tom? Yes, yeah, me, yeah, yeah, the kids are fine, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I was, I was, I was just wondering if you fancy coming around for a quick wank. <laughs> Yeah, just me and you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got tissues, yeah, it's all fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, honestly, I saw it and immediately I thought, you're gonna love this. You're gonna like this, it's a groping one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right, I love you too, but. <laughs> but yeah, these are the type of ones. One of the other ones is, but I, even though I do take the piss out of them, they can be very tempting. You know, sometimes, you know, if you're alone and you lad like yourself, and you're at home, it can be quite tempting. I saw this one advert and it said, In your area, right now, blonde hair, blue eyes, and big tits, and desperate for sex. And I thought, hmm, blonde hair, blue eyes, and big tits. That's, that's me, isn't it? <laughs> like, surely that's me. Because I've lived in my area all my life, and there's no one that fits that description apart from me. <laughs> But apparently, no, apparently she's a real woman, a real life woman. And she's not only she's a hundred miles away from me, or a few hundred yards away from me, but she's desperate for sex. She's gagging for it. She can't get it anywhere. It's despite having blonde hair, blue eyes and big tits. Sorry, I keep spinning, sorry, I'm really sorry. It's not that I hate you or nothing. Uh, yeah, despite having blonde hair, blue eyes and big tits, she can't get it anywhere, right? In fact, she's at home right now, just at home waiting for me to kick that button. And I fall for it every fucking time. <laughs> every time I go through the whole process of fucking like, oh right, they want some details, okay. But if I'm like, well, bank details? What? She was gonna be the one. I had visions of me and her having kids with blonde hair and blue eyes and anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you know, like I say, um, that's a porn that she over anyway. Right. So, um, it's the thing, like, in my area, right, there's a one guy who's from my area at the moment, right, we've got some legends in our area. I'm going to try and do something I've never done on stage before, and that's tell a true story for once. <laughs> right, because let me tell you something, comedians, they might come on and say, this is true, it's never, it never is. Right, it's always bollocks, it's always edited and blah blah, but this is true. Right, we've got some legends in Peckham, and um, one of them's called Banger Bill. <laughs> right? Now you think, I live in Peckham, right? you think Banger Bill is a, he's a, he's a fist fighter or something like that. No, he's just a guy, really old guy, who's worn the same jacket for 30, 40 years or something like that. <laughs> and basically what he does is he goes around the area letting off bangers. Don't matter what, not firework night, don't matter. Any night, Tuesday morning, he's letting off bangers out the, out the, out the, out the street. And this is right, innit, Hudson? True. Yeah, one hundred percent true. Banger <laughs> Bill is a real character, right? I'm going to do a documentary on him soon. Right? <laughs> Someone has to talk about this guy's life. Now, you might, if you've lived in, some of you might know, you might be from that sort of area. You might be in Peckham. You might think I've never heard of this guy. You may have heard of him, but without knowing, right? Because he does these bangers, and you'd think, oh, Peckham, probably a gun shot. But it's actually Banger Bill just letting off these bangers, just going around letting them off. He's an absolute nutter. Right, so that's my closure. <laughs> Not the best closure, but there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, it's Tom Wilson. Nothing's wrong. Um, <laughs>